Hey everyone and welcome to this additional video episode of Up In The Boot Podcast. My name is Rob, I am a 35mm film and digital projectionist here in Dublin and I wanted to kind of make these additional sort of little video episodes just to kind of um, stuff that I can actually show you on video rather than like uh, on episodes of the podcast where it's obviously just audio and um, show you some stuff. So um, as you can kind of see in the background behind me, I have a lot of uh, memorabilia and collections of stuff that I've kind of amassed over the years as a projectionist and I just kind of thought I'd make these little videos and go through some of the stuff that I've uh, collected over the years. Um, so the first video I want to make here is about um, a huge fan of the Crow film series from the original one, the Brandon Lee one in 1994. Hangman's Joke t-shirt, that's the uh, fictitious band Brandon Lee is in in the film. I really liked that film, it kind of really kind of interested me, it was something kind of different and um, I kind of followed the series through, uh, you know, with the sequels and, it, you know, obviously nothing sort of is on a par with the original. But uh, for a long time I was looking to add to my collection of a lot of trailers here behind me um, and I wanted to try and get a, a trailer for the original Crow film. Uh, Brandon Lee version and um, for the longest time I couldn't couldn't find one and I'm still looking um, and at one point I remember a couple of years back I tried to arrange like a screen like a charity screen and uh, we were trying to get a print and um, just wasn't possible but what I did come across on eBay a couple of weeks back was a 35mm trailer for The Crow 2 City of Angels um, and I picked it up and um, pretty cool this kind of cardboard box it came in and a big orange uh, Dolby Stereo SR sticker kind of interesting never saw that before it is a German trailer it came from Germany but um, the Crow 2 City of Angels teaser I believe this is like the 30 to 60 second teaser um, kind of something similar to kind of like a TV spot or whatever that would have been on but um, interesting little kind of cardboard box and um, it's actually a brand new trailer never ran so if I open this up the trailer is actually in plastic and once we get it out of plastic, the uh, original tape is still on the front, uh, on the head. The tail is loose, there's no, I guess in the States they call the plastic center like a core. Um, over here we would call the plastic bobbins. Um, there is nothing in it, the film is just kind of loose uh, inside. So I pulled it out and had a quick look and that's definitely the tail, so it's head out. Um, I'm at two minds whether to kind of open it up to have a look or maybe even stick it onto a leader and run it at some point. Good addition to the collection and I actually have a crow uh, shelf back here behind me on some of my display stuff I'm gonna stick in a picture of that and let you see some of the stuff that I have uh, some of the cool stuff in the collection so just a little bit about the film The Crow 2 or The Crow City of Angels came out in 96 I believe and directed by Tim Pope and um, really difficult trying to follow up uh, the original as I said with um, with Brandon Lee certainly what I don't believe was well as well received as the original crow with Brandon Lee but um it, uh, I kind of liked it, it was okay, it was certainly better than 3 and 4 in the series um, it just kind of went downhill really quick uh, after the first one and um, directed by Tim Pope and starred Vincent Perez in the lead and Mia Kirshner was in there as well, I, I like her, she's quite good and then um, Iggy Pop surprisingly enough was in it as well but um, it's worth a look if you haven't seen it but um, as I said not as good as the original I just wanted to also quickly plug a friend of mine's YouTube channel he has a show called The Midnight Showing uh, his name is Eve. He's a 35 mil and 1570 mil IMAX projectionist over in the States. And um, he does some interesting videos and he kind of talks about some uh, films that he's ran in the past and also kind of has a collection, sort of like Mayan trailers and stuff like that. So if you want to head over to his YouTube channel, here's the link for that. That's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos like this that I'm going to be posting soon. And if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit the bell for notifications every time I post a new video. You can follow me on social media. Instagram is at projectionistrob. I'm posting photos and stuff of what's going on in the projection world here. And uh, Twitter is at projectionistrob. And if you want to hear episodes of the podcast, you can get them all on the website. It's up in the booth, podcast.com. And of course, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.